so we have seen all the proof rules that will help us derive uh, statements for propositional logic however how do we know that these proof rules are correct I mean some of them are fairly intuitive but how do we know actually that these are all correct so what it would be the correctness statement of these proof rules so this is the correctness statement if proof rules derive some statement if something you derive using these proof rules sigma proves f then it is guaranteed that sigma implies f it does not say other way around it's it's only one direction Okay, so the other direction is a complicated business which you will, some point of time you will see uh, by I think in the tenth lecture. But right now we care about one direction that is called soundness statement that if we can derive something that is actually correct derivation. Okay, so what do you do? You do in an inductive argument. So we will assume that the theorem holds for the premises of the rules. Show that. If it is also true for the conclusion, so each time you assume that, each time you apply a rule, its premises that the theorem holds, that means it's actually things are implied. Therefore, each time you apply the rule, the generated object is also implied. So you are overall correct. You always maintain correctness. Okay. So let's look at one rule. Okay. So we assume that this 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 thing implies this thing. Okay. Now we need to show that this implies this. So how do we do that? Let's assume a model M that satisfies the sigma. By the induction hypothesis, M must also satisfy this guy. Since M satisfies F and G, and uh, with the using the truth table, we can show that if M satisfies F and G, then M satisfies F. You can see that M satisfies F and G, that is this row, and I can say M satisfies F. It's a fairly trivial observation. Uh, but you need to check it okay so that means I have a proof that that this rule is correct now let's look at one more rule where things get slightly non-trivial and you need to do some analysis okay so for example there was one intro rule for implication where you are pulling f out how do I do correctness of this step well it's not that hard you need to assume that uh, this guy implies this guy. So sigma union f implies g. Now I want to show that sigma proves this guy. Well, let's take a model M such that M satisfies sigma. Okay, so if M satisfies sigma, there are two possibilities, right? One possibility is M satisfies f. Okay, if that is the case then m satisfies uh, sigma union f okay therefore by induction hypothesis m also satisfies g if m satisfies g then m satisfies f implies f implies g right therefore i am done okay that's exactly what we stated here now other case m does not satisfy f okay m does not satisfy f then it's fairly trivial okay if m does not satisfy f then m clearly satisfies f implies g therefore sigma, uh, sigma implies f implies g okay so that's concluded okay. so similarly you can have to uh, take every proof rule some proof rule will be fairly straightforward like look conjunction for some of them you need to do case analysis and then you will be able to prove the correctness of check the proof rules. for example or a link would be an interesting choice to write down the proof for